live at Scientology's Pack Base. We're going to go take a look at Phil Jones, the new Aftermath Foundation billboard he put up there here for New Hampshire, headed toward Fountain. I'm sure Osa's watching the live stream. And just an advisory to Osa, uh, I'm a private investigator licensed here in the state of California. I have units in place filming everything. Uh, if you have any Motorola radios, those might be picked up on a scanner. So, we know, uh, like I said, there's plenty of cameras around you don't know about. So, uh, we're just going to take some filmage, uh, some footage for the audience, a little bit of video of the Bolton board, and then we'll be getting along. Sometimes my phone rings. Okay, so again, Scientology Money Project live at Pack Base, Los Angeles. And uh, all my cameras, all my units are in place. Look at, we're going to camera land. Look at all the security cameras. Anyway, we're just going to take some footage. Uh, there's a story this morning. LAPD had to be called. I'll be relaying this story uh, later. Relating the story later. Oh, look at this. Scientology already got a big forklift in place. <laughs> they have a big forklift in place. A big man lift to block, to block full towns. Look at that. Okay, let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got. Okay, here's the bulletin board. Look at that. Great job, Phil. And you can see they tried to block it with a man left from the engineering department. This is the site of the old cadet org, of the old cadet org, where they used to human traffic children, child trafficking, and Fantastic, let's get a big shot of that. Need help leaving Scientology? Call us, 888-FREE-002, aftermath.help. And of course, Scientology, they want, they don't want anyone to see it, so you can see they tried to erect a lift. So that's the best they could do here at uh, Fountain in New Hampshire. Billboard went up this morning, early this morning, and uh, yeah, isn't that something? Beautiful work promoting the aftermath. They can help you leave Scientology. And uh, let's see, we're right at, uh, let's take a look at the time here. Uh, what time is it? Uh, Coming up on just about noon, about seven minutes to the top of the hour, seven minutes to noon. Let's see how long before they feel the need to call LAPD, <clears throat> which uh, they have no reason to. So there it is. And there is uh, part of Big Blue behind us. So let's get the view. So they've got the, uh, the block in the way. Look at that. They do not want you to see it. Let's take a look at uh, Pack Base. Get a view from the corner of L. Ron Hubbard Way. Just checking out the uh, visibility angles. Okay. The helicopter here behind us is uh, going to the Hollywood Presbyterian. It's not an LAPD gunship or anything. And let's see. Okay, so now from the corner of Aron Hubbard Way, there's a, uh, an old Sea Org worker. Poor guy. Look at him. Oh, poor old guy. Looks to be in his, uh, I hope, I mean, that's somebody's dad. Look at him. He's got, uh, so looks like he has some medical condition there, his spine's bent and they're making him work. So you can see 
what they're doing. The man lift is in the way. Well, that's private property. That's called fuckology, uh, which the church will do. Fuckology. Okay, let's get some chat in. Let me get some chat. We need to go. Yes, yes. The bear, no, the billboard is Phil Jones, Phil and Willie Jones, out of Canada, heavy mess worker. And this is Los Angeles. Uh, although Apostate Dallas did certainly do something in London. You got to step it up, Alex. But it is funny. There's visual obstruction. And uh... <laughs> oh, David Miscavige, you are a loser. Capital L, loser. <laughs> So that was their uh, knee-jerk response. And of course, uh, all around Harvard Way, we've got one security guard. Otherwise, we could go bowling on the street. We could just go bowling for body thetans, the new sport, the new game show, bowling for body thetans uh, on all around Harvard Way. Look how empty it is. It's noon, Monday, beautiful blue sky here in Los Angeles. And all around Harvard Way is a ghost town, bowling for body thetans. I could spend all day bowling here with very few interruptions except from, you know, civilian cars, non-Scientology cars who use this as a bypass. Look at that. It's empty. It's deserted. It's deserted. And uh, we got the beautiful... <laughs> I think something tells me Scientology will suddenly find a need to lift or, or to rent about um, 10 or 15 man lifts in the air like that. But that site where it's at is right above the old cadet org, as I said, where the child traffic children, where there's a lot of hellish, just hellish nightmares from that old friggin' cadet org. And uh, there's their hotel where people from out of town can get some auditing. There's the parking, gar parking garage. And uh, there's the complex. And there's Advanced Organization Los Angeles, AOLA. OLA. Uh, yeah, it's uh, so let's just go across the street, take another look at it. Okay. So it is supporting Aftermath Foundation. They have blocked it. Oh. My prediction is they're going to rent uh, 10 or 12 more lifts like that. So uh, this is Scientology. They own that property, so they want to block free speech. They, they do not want they do not want Sea Org to see that there's a way out of Scientology. They don't want Scientology publics. They won't want anyone to see that there is a way out. Look at that. Okay, now. We know that there is a homeless encampment down the alley behind the storage space. So we're gonna see if anyone pops out of it because Scientology could be hiring some homeless people. They could be some of their guys, some of their PIs to hire homeless people because there is an encampment. But it's okay. Note, I'll pay the homeless whatever, twice whatever Scientology is paying them for an on-camera interview of how Scientology paid you to assault people. Look at that. Okay, so Scientology is gonna take this as a win, but this is a news story in and of itself. This is a news story in and of itself. That's the fear Scientology has. Oh, I can smell, smell the fear. I can smell the fear. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Uh, Adam, no, free zone billboards would be useless. Uh,
Okay. So there is David Miscavige's last stand we have over here. Helicopter. So this facility, they now do some publishing and promotional stuff. See the big white camera on the wall, the other camera. Probably about 20 cameras. Wow. Okay. Now see, they're gonna. What'll happen? Need help leaving Scientology? Call us. Eight 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 three zero zero two aftermath dot help. That's aftermath.help. The phone number is 8883002. Need help leaving Scientology? Fantastic billboard here at New Hampshire. And of course, there's the amount of. So I guess it'll be uh, off limits. And so let's go to the billboard here. You can look at this camera array. Camera array at Cameraland. Look at that. Uh, nothing says cult quite like a whole bunch of cameras. Boy, that's a lot of cameras pointing in a lot of different ways. So there's the billboard. Okay, now, if we... Look at that. Why all the need for cameras, Scientology? Oh, I can smell the fear from here. Yeah, one, two three counting cameras and there's the billboard above us wow yeah infrared night vision okay now this is the view oh wait just so your advice it says this is a faded sign the warning is washed out security cameras in use well yeah no fucking kidding Security cameras in Scientology are synonymous as our check checks. So you gotta get those brakes checked, ma'am. Okay, so now we're at the billboard. Um, yeah, yeah, please, no, we don't want any free zone stuff up. Um, now this is a look down, now this, this facility on the corner is the IASA International Association of Scientologists Administrations. That's the operating arm of the IES because the IES can, in and of itself can do nothing. The big white building is a new, beautiful five-story WOG condo building that looks right down on Advanced Organization of Los Angeles. And in fact, what I would worry about is if you were doing your advanced levels here, your OT levels, this apartment building's higher than you so they could look over at AOLA. Some visual trespass issues. I mean, they're gonna have to, they're gonna have to put those windows sheer black so that no OT secrets can be seen by the residents of that beautiful new uh, apartment building. And uh, let's go. So not much going on, questions. Any questions? Are you curious? Hello, good people of the internet. Well, hello. Hello to you. I don't have my glasses on, so it's hard for you to read this fine print. Think of the lift as a big blue arrow saying, look. Oh, that's great. That is great, Kara. They'll probably put up a Rathbun counter billboard. <laughs> yeah, you can see Marty's face saying it's all a lie because uh, they, sh they still have the brown coat and wardrobe. Uh, should we contact the Aftermath and tell them they're blocking the sign? Sure. That phone number doesn't do anything. It hangs up immediately. Well, Aftermath has to work on that. Billboard is a good idea. Here he is. Yeah, apostate Alex, if you could jump in and mod. I, I will email and tell them it's being obstructed. What street? Well, we're at New Hampshire and uh, Fountain. That's where we're at. 
1300 North Block of New Hampshire, 4700 West uh, Block of Fountain. And uh, so Scientology, yep, there's the lift. There's the lift. So they probably had to scoot over here right after the board went up this morning and uh, figure out some emergency handling. We need emergency handling. We have a Hill 10 flapping flap. There's a bulletin board up right at our Pacific base. They call their church's bases like it's a military base. Pack base. Pack base. I wonder who uh, the Admiral of Pack base is. Or I, They always have fancy titles like um, CMO, CMO in, or I guess this would be uh, a PAC base, so you'd have some, this is a Sea Org org, it's redundant, it's an organization, which Hubbard calls its churches, so it's a Sea Org org, and it would have, what would it have, an admiral? No, they don't have admirals. Captain Miscavige is, Captain David Miscavige is the high ranking, so, um, why pay full price if it's obstructed? Well, um, Scientology has the private property and they can put up a man lift. Like I said, I expect to come back. I expect they're calling and running 20 or 30 man lifts. Sorry if it's going in and out of frame. There we go. I expect they'll rent 20 or 30 man lifts and just block it. You know, they'll do something like that. Maybe they'll just uh, buy an inflatable five-story building yeah, you know, if they bought an inflatable building or put up some new construction, they could stack overseas shipping. I mean, there's a lot of things they're going to do because this is interbulated then. Full on interbulation. Full on interbulation. Well, you know, does the number actually work? Well, the number there is 888 free 002 in the United States, 1 800 free 002. So put the one in and try it. Yes, the number works, I called it. So this is right next to the, uh, uh, there we go. Okay, thank you, Alex. And uh, let's take a look again. All the windows, all the windows are blocked in Scientology organizations. Per, I guess there's, there's no L. Ron Hubbard policy on windows blockage of to prevent uh, you know, live streamers. Well, it seems pretty calm. Uh, the base uh, is calm. But inside, there's crisis. There's a billboard. This was done. OSA failed to predict. Failure to predict. And what OSA should have done is rent that billboard in perpetuity or just buy it. They should have rented it in perpetuity. There was a billboard up for a long time. We're right by Scientology Media Productions. SMP, the $100 million paperweight. And uh, they rented a billboard there for, gosh, two years after they opened that place. So, anyway, we got a. Uh, yep. Mighty empty. Mighty empty on L. Ron Hubbard Way. Look at that. It's, it's just a red tide of emptiness empty no activity no signs of life we have the uh, billboard here yeah you can still see it <laughs> so I'm waiting for uh, okay let's cross the street in the crosswalk legally we don't want to break any laws no, 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 no. Now, we want to see if any black SUVs come. Hey, there was some talk that uh, Talon Protective Services is going to lose the contract. So we should get a betting pool in. Will Talon lose its contract? Will they lose its contract to protect Scientology organizations? Interesting question. Will they lose it? Maybe. Anyway, uh, fire safety floor plans. Attention, please do not enter on AOLA. It says, attention, please do not enter if you are ill or have been around others who are ill. 
Okay, so if you're ill, do not enter. Um, get the receptionist's attention so you may be screened with a no contact thermometer before entering. So they still have their COVID signs up. COVID era signs up the black days when we were all shut in. And big blue is big and blue as we call it locally. Or it's just the Scientology cult building on sunset. <coughs> <coughs> oh, there's a vehicle. He's been in my way twice. This, this little vehicle, that guy has been in my way twice. He's cruising. This was, uh, find out the truth about drugs. Yeah, he's been in my way twice. That's the Continental Liaison Office. Flag Service Consultants, if you want to go to Flag. Free winds, you can get to the ship. Continental Liaison Offices, Western United States, CLO WUS. That's how they pronounce it in Scientology. CLO, Western US is WUS, or WUS, CLO WUS, CLOWUS. And, uh, Chris Jennery, yeah, someone, uh, so they must own the property adjacent. Yeah, they do. The, the, where, uh, the adjacent property is owned by Scientology. It was the cadet organization where they child trafficked children, destroyed their childhoods, and it was a nursery from hell. I have a good podcast I'm going to put back up. A bouncy castle? Yeah, five stories high. They could do that. Um, now let's go down L. Ron Hubbard Way. We can see the American St. Hill organization with the lion. Oh, all the windows, of course, are curtained up from view. God forbid you don't want to have any, you know, they say welcome, but not really. So there's the uh, Leb Hall, they call it Lebanon Hall. This used to be the Cedars of Lebanon Hospital before Scientology owned it, but they call that Leb Hall. And that's the Sea Org recruiting office across the street. And there's another camera. Hi, Scientology. Hi, Osa. Why did you fail to predict? Failure to predict. Uh, and I can hear the... <laughs> I'm walking by the camera and I can hear the servo motor in there engaging. I can hear the little motor engaging. <laughs> yeah, you got to get... Si yeah, I can hear the motor. See, listen to that. You've got to get quieter, quieter electric motors on your cameras. You can hear them. Yeah. And... Uh, just so while we're here, let me get my, where is it? Where is it at? Where is it at? No, I can hear the, Brandana, I can hear their cameras. Jesus, you'd think they'd have some money to get quiet cameras. That's a really noisy, <clears throat> that's a noisy camera. You need to get a quiet glide system. I mean, that's a really noisy camera. It's really, really noisy. I gotta tell you, I think they would spend some money on quiet cameras. If you're going to be a spy operation, your cameras can't sound like they <laughs> need lubrication. I mean, they really can't. So what do we got here? What do we got here? Um, okay, let's just check. Okay. Now, what we're doing is part of our testing. We're just checking. Let's get our little... Yeah, Hold on a minute. A race car went down there. Wow, you can hear how loud it is. Uh, whose cherry picker is it? It says building are uh, great signs so well placed. They will have to uh, use a different route to remove the little duckies around. Yes. They should be thankful the bold billboard doesn't publish the clear cognition. The clear cognition, why someone could share that with us. Now, this is my little, one of my little devices. I've got to get this. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. We're just um, checking. Just checking for the ambient signal. That's getting all logged. Pretty much what I thought. It's a piece of um, gear I use. Sorry if it's fading in and out. But I just wanted to check the uh, check the frequencies they're using here in Eller and Hubbard Way. So I'm doing frequency logging. Frequency logging. And uh, just of ambient <clears throat> ambient signal. Uh, 
not much going on. I think I need to uh, turn around and take one more look. Well, let's go up to the parking lot. What the heck, in for a penny, in for a pound. I always say. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Here's what we're gonna do. Okay, now, it's about 62. Okay, so walking along with Agent Augustine, Jay Swift, here at L. Ron Hubbard Way. Here, let me get myself in the background. Hey. Hey, Mom, I'm in here at Pack Base. Gonna sign myself up for some Scientology. That's what I'm doing with my uh, $5 million trust fund. They told me it could help me. They told me it could help me with my reactive mind, which I didn't even know I had. Till I read uh, myself Dianetics. I haven't worked clear Dianetics. Now I know what an engram is and why I got them in my head. Um, so, uh, Anyway, it's about 65 degrees, I think, 62 degrees. It's a little bit cool here in LA today, but it is sure is beautiful. We had weeks and weeks of rain, freezing weekend. Jeffrey Augustine for the Scientology Money Project, reporting exclusively from Scientology's Pacific base. We're coming up on Sunset and Elrin Hubbard Way. There's the Dianetics sign, Dianetics. Let me flip it around. Let me just flip it around here, folks. Okay, see, I can really see. When you put on, uh, that's why you don't ever wear. Okay, there we go. Wait. Oh. Okay, so there we go. One way. Yes, there's one way to get out of Scientology, and it's that way. It's that way. Go that way out of Scientology, and. Uh, Go that way out of Scientology. That way out. Okay, there's uh, not much going on. They do rent out the parking lot. And uh, what does the Scientology sign say? Okay, so all are welcome. Uh, okay, all are welcome. Curious about Scientology? No, not really. If I want, I'll read the internet. You're not alone. Curious about Scientology? I'm curious why you're so vicious. You're not alone. It's time. It's time. Uh, Mark is red. Um, I'm curious about Grant Cardone's uh, Regulation A and why he's only hit 10% of the fundraising. Curious about Scientology? You're not alone. I'm curious why you blocked the bulletin board. It's time. It's time for what? Come in and decide for yourself. Yeah, you go in there, they're gonna trap you in a room, sec check you. All are welcome. Well, let's go in. Open daily, 9 a.m. to whatever. So if we're welcome, you know what, wait a minute. It says, Church of Scientology, parishioner parking only. But then it says all are welcome. But if you're not a parishioner, you can't park. So you're welcome, but you have to find your own parking. Um, okay, so how does this work? You're welcome to come into Scientology, but you're not welcome. You're not welcome, I guess, if you're a suppressive person. I don't know what they're saying. Now, they are warning you that there's no oversized vehicle parking. No oversized vehicle. Now, let's see how welcome you are at Scientology. Let's see how welcome you are. Okay, this is how welcome you are at Scientology. Unauthorized vehicles parked in designated accessible spaces are not displaying. They're going to tow you if you're in a handicapped spot. That's good. Church of Scientology parishioner parking only. You have to have your IS membership card. Public parking prohibited. But then if all are welcome and Joe blow off the public, you know, or Mary Smith, you can't park or John's toying will get you. Scientology, watch us on Direct TV channel 320. Look at this pathetic little clapboard sign in the street. Look at that little thing. 
It's tiny. That's about how tall David was. Look at that tiny little clapboard thing. What an embarrassment. You think they have a few. So Phil Jones puts up a big, huge billboard, and they got this tiny little clapboard thing that you can't even see. It's a volcano. And uh, look, at it was scannable. I wonder if the volcanoes, when Xenu dropped everyone in the uh, volcanoes, if the volcanoes had a scanning code. Scan here for the implanting station. Oh, looks like we got the fire and police on the way. But we're near a hospital. Oh, looks like they're transporting. Uh, okay, maybe they're transporting. Uh, transporting uh, OSA staff who've had uh, sudden, uh, you know, they were smelling burnt toast. Okay, okay, now look. Phil has a giant billboard about the Aftermath Foundation here. Come in and watch a free film about the book that started it all. Dianetics, the Modern Science of Mental Health has been a bestseller for over 60 years and has 22 million copies in circulation in 50 languages. And you can buy it on eBay for a buck. I mean, they'll give you, I mean, there's more cameras. Now these are a little bit quieter but they have some condensation inside. These are the LED. Yeah, okay. So um, anyway, what is Scientology? Oh, these little tiny signs. Phil Jones put up such a huge sign for the Aftermath Foundation. And now they have these tiny little signs and it shows a bunch of happy people walking in. But here, I'm in real life. There are zero happy people walking into Scientology. But here on their PR, I'm showing many, many, many happy people flooding into the Church of Scientology of Los Angeles. But in real life, there are no happy people flooding in. Huh. So the reality, the reality is this, nobody going in the doors. The PR is this, many, many people flooding in to come in and find out, even though you can't park here because there's no public parking. So you would have to pay for parking or park on the street. I don't get it how that works. So if you're welcome to come in to Scientology and you're curious and you want to do a personality test and yet at the same time, you're not allowed to uh, park on their property. Okay, I'm sorry, folks. I'm sorry, this is making zero sense. Help me think this out. So Scientology says, curious? come in for a free um, personality test or come in to watch a, f a film about L. Ron Hubbard and Dianetics in the church, uh, the book that started it all. And uh, yeah, you cannot park on our property. Scientology, your messaging is screwed up. I'm telling you, you have to let people get like, you have to like 10 spots in your parking lot that are marked with signs that say, curious, come on in. You have to give away some free parking if you want people to come in, the body routers out on Vermont are gone. I haven't seen them in a while. They're there on Vermont and Sunset. Haven't seen them for a while. And uh, there's that new, uh, I'm, I gotta flip my camera. Anyway, I wanna show you this uh, beautiful new building. This is going up all around town. Uh, what do I got here? What do I got here? What do I got here? Okay, so there's that beautiful new high-rise condo or a five-story condo look at that big beautiful it's not and then you got kind of the dumpy advanced org of a uh, advanced organization of los angeles building so how does this work okay uh protesters need to stand with signs promoting this sign yes the human pyramid of osa members keep falling over so the crane was in <laughs> yeah they tried to pile up Sea Org members, but they kept pulling over. So the crane was the next best thing. Reporting late for duty, sir. Cost, yes, Pam Abernathy, you're always late, but I expect well, that's fine. We're not a Scientology course from where you in time. Is that cherry picker a tactic or oversight? No, it's a tactic. They blocked it. 
Well, Peter, shall we uh, soon see if there, more lifts will appear from the billboard? That's my prediction. They're going to rent a whole bunch. Attention, if you enter, do not enter if you are ill, you pulled it in. Handle your PTSs first. You know, I'm glad you said that, heavy mist worker. If you're ill, you would have pulled it in. You need handling. PTS for life. Just had a live today explaining just how bad this is for OSIS stats right before LRH's birthday. Oh my God, you're right. It's almost Ron's birthday. The aftermath needs a billboard on every corner of the block or maybe put that info phone number and website on a protester signage. Yeah, the ugly lion. The lack of a functional phone number makes this billboard useless. Well, I think maybe 1-800, but some more comments on that. Post this billboard on every bus bench, every light. Now, I need to call the number. We need to check it. We have to double check this comment that the, um, uh, it, did you dial the 1-800? I want to make sure, I want to verify that because uh, I want to make sure. And uh, we have to test. I'm sure it was vetted and checked, but uh, I'll call the number myself because if you don't dial the one here in the United States, uh, you might not get through. So I want to uh, test to the number, of course. And let's go look at the, the poor old sad lion. He's been there trapped forever. In many ways, the sad lion is a metaphor for Sea Org members trapped. Sea Org members trapped in steel. Yeah. Yeah, all this, everything's boarded up. The same COVID era signs if you are ill, if you have a high temperature, if you're PTS to David Miscavige, if he's the SP on your lines, if you're why he's broke. Yep. And there again is that nice building overlooking AO. Boy, I would say Scientology, your, your facility's long in the tooth. If you look at these windows, uh, they're the old original wood windows. They, some of them can blow out in a storm when we get Santa Ana's. Ugly ass windows, you'd think. You know, you'd think these old windows, I think the hospital dates to the 20s, and they have these old windows. You'd think they would rewindow the place just for energy efficiency. I mean, the windows are downstat, really ugly windows, and then you got some paint. We got paint there. We had rains recently, and so you got some paint washing off. No, definitely, this is a flunk. I'm telling you, if Tom Cruise came here with his celebrity pals, those ugly ass old windows, rewindow the place. I always after them to rewindow. They had some faded paint. Yeah, States is not doing a good job. And then you have uh, Advanced Organization of Los Angeles. They want to sound so official. I'm with the Advanced Organization of Los Angeles. Yeah, okay, so, big deal. Um, oh, OT. It's so ot -ness. And then the, uh, the great <clears throat> surveillance van's coming by me again. So we'll watch it drive by. See, this guy's been in and out. He's like the rover. That's the rover they caught in the rover. So that's the van that's scooting around looked at me several times. I really don't care because I've got my own surveillance. Um, you know. Okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> because you asked, we'll go look at the sign before we take off. <clears throat> we'll go look at the uh, famous <clears throat> Scientology sign. <clears throat> Excuse me. We'll look at the famous Scientology sign. Yes, I am scanning for ambient uh, especially Motorola signal and uh, okay there it is it's coming into view Scianto F I think it says Scianto F and uh, Scientolo hello there's a camera hi um, Scientolo G Scientolo G okay there's the famous sign, the infamous sign. There's Ron's eight-pointed uh, satanic cross, and then the American flag, of which they take advantage. If you're gonna fly a flag, pay your damn taxes. Bunch of deadbeats. And uh, that's what I say. 
<clears throat> hey, so we're going to get uh, the local flavor of L.A. And, uh, okay, so we're here. We're here. We've had no problems. It's all been very peaceable. And there's Scientology. Now we're going to go flip the camera. Okay. Now let's get me. I'm going to get a tourist shot. Me. The Scientology. I can't see. I need a, I need a production <clears throat> production crew. Okay. So anyway, I can't see. It's all blown out. No. Cancel. Cancel. Okay. <clears throat> Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're here. Uh, the building, the sign says the building was erected in 1929. That means L. Ron Hubbard would have been, uh, he's born in 1911, so he would have been 18 years old when Big Blue was built. Ron would have been 18 years old, and he would have been uh, flunking out in college, getting his D's and F's in college. So when the hospital was built, Hubbard was uh, strolling booze and flying gliders at uh, George Washington University, getting D's and F's. And uh, he was also in the Marine Corps for a short time at that period. You can look up L. Ron Hubbard Marine Corps. Okay, so let's go up. Oh, this is just an equipment. What a hassle. Okay, there. So, uh, no, we haven't flipped around. Let's look at some comments. Um, hey, man. Lol, they're following your every footstep. They are. Hey, oh, so we see the world is coming for you. Yes. ABC, hello. Let's grab the WD-40. No kidding, I need some. Thank you. Stealth camera fail. Loud car sounds. Is just Jessica Palmadessa drag racing? <laughs> yeah. I just realized that I've been mocking up my own reactive mind all along, and I'm not going to do it anymore. Oh my God, we have actually someone who had the clear, listen, listen to this, um, I'm sorry, this, uh, we just had somebody, oh my gosh, ladies and gentlemen, we're still living in the age of miracles, we just had one of our viewers have the clear cognition on a, a, a live stream, that's amazing, they just realized they were mocking up their own reactive mind, and they're not going to do it anymore. How does this happen on a live stream where we're filming a suppressive bulletin board and then someone has the clear cog? It's, that's like astrology at work. Scientology astrology. The clear cog on a live stream. Scientology, you can't even do that. I think this is the world's first ever Scientology Money Project. A, a viewer has the clear cog on a live stream. You know, you just never know what's going to happen here. On, in, on the streets of Hollywood. You're just suddenly watching a live stream on SPTV and no, Monia, it's not melting down. SPTV is not melting down. I just read an article where it's the defanging of anti-Scientology. <laughs> Monia Leah, I think that's the author's name. Uh, no, you got that wrong in a big, 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 big way. But, you know, I understand. You got sub stacks to do. And there's the sign again. I emailed the foundation. Good. Churches should pay taxes, I agree. Pearl Snappy in Austin taught uh, us the clear cog. I made up my own react to mine. I'm not doing it anymore. At 100 decibels. Wow. You should get those cameras turned around towards the billboard. Yeah, well, I got the camera turned around. Doing not so secrets. Beautiful sky. Except you, me, and everyone else. It's more like curious. All are welcome except for the giant list of SPs. Oh, no kidding. And contrary to some nonsense articles on the internet, there's the, the move. This movement's not being defanged. No, no. That's just some social media pundits. But you know, that's free speech. If. Uh, Okay, now uh, we got a clarification. Pam Abernathy, at Pam Abernathy. If you want to say the clear cognition as a sign toe, you would say it 
I just realized that I've been mocking up my own reactive mind and I'm not doing it anymore. I'm not doing it anymore. Whereas I had been doing it. And, but then the bad news after the clear cog is, yeah, you're, you don't ha you're not mocking up your reactive mind, but then you have body thetans. But then you have body thetans. That's the problem. So how do you, how do you, what happens? What good is it to have the clear cog? Then you've got 20 years of body things. This camera is so glitchy. Come on. Um, they do have very nice palm trees. It is time to pack it up. Don't give them ideas. Here they come. Hey, thanks. A supporter, a viewer. Did Osa set the sign on fire? Not yet, not yet. So, uh, yeah, they're probably, I'm gonna turn off, you know, they're probably, I'm getting a lot of signal interference, but that's why, look, this is fuckery. This is why I am logging. <laughs> I'm getting a lot of signal interference with my sign. See that, they're pulsing up my sign. That's why I'm logging frequencies. Osa, just keep, you know, it's like the Chinese spy balloon. Look, I'm not doing anything with my camera and I'm getting hit with pulses. I'm, that's why I'm monitoring signals. It's like the Chinese balloon that came over America. We just sat, we had all our whispering devices and sensors logging everything. So just go ahead and give me your frequencies. Just go ahead and keep giving me your frequencies, Osa. This is why I predicted this could happen, and this is why we uh, brought our signal detector. Okay, so I can't get a good shot. Um, anyway, we brought our signal detectors because I've never seen this go on before. It is signal jamming. See it? I'm not doing anything. Okay, so we're gonna go find, we're gonna go find it. And I know what they're doing, and I know who's doing it, because I've got people around. Look at that. Wow. No, that's signal jamming, folks. You're seeing it in real time. And I got a device. I'm gonna just follow. I'm just gonna follow. They acquired my phone. I sang it on the live stream the other night. They acquired my phone and what they're doing that doesn't just happen to your phone ladies and gentlemen that is signal jamming so i'll put it in a little bit tighter yeah but we do have so i'm measuring and logging everything and my crew is measuring and logging everything yeah Okay, so there it is. That's the big news. Scientology is going into emergency blocking, an emergency blocking measure. So we'll have to get a betting pool on how long before the Aftermath Foundation, how long before they have an inflatable bouncy house or 20 forklifts. The sign is beautifully put by right with the old cadet building. Hell yes for the second gen, hell yes indeed. That's the side of the old cadet org where the child traffickers have been saying weird pulses. No, I've got some real tech. And that's why uh, the other night I noticed it. Uh, they are succumbing to mest. Emergency bull locking. Yeah, that's the old cadet org. Second gen. The Aftermath Foundation has planted its flag on the old cadet org from hell. We just have to go out and fight fight for oranges at lunch. And that was, Marika told me a horrible story that I have on my iTunes uh, channel, my iTunes podcast. So, so we're proceeding along. And now when the Sea Org member gets here, you can see it. Look at that. Need help leaving Scientology? Call us. 888-3-002-Aftermath.help. I, I hope someone has set up a camera, pointing at the sign 
so that it captures any attempts made to take it down or to face it. I do too. Um, you never know. You never know. Now this, um, okay, here's, we're gonna do some open source intelligence. Let's do a little bit here. And what we have, okay, now the, the uh, lift blocking the sign from certain angles. It's, uh, it's a Genie Z45-25J model. It says engineering department on it, it's blue. And um, there was a story at the East Hollywood Town meeting I was at, uh, maybe three, four years ago, that this is the lift that uh, male SEERG members were using. And they were looking, peering into the windows across the street over there on Catalina at a woman in a state of undress. But they were peeping toms. That was the allegation that male SEERG members were using this to peep, peep into windows of a woman in a state of undress. And she had to call the police. And that became a flap. That was about four years ago. And uh, East Hollywood uh, Council meeting I attended. So uh, is this the peeping Tom, the Scientology peeping Tom man lift I heard about at that meeting? Do they leer into windows? hoping to see something, some forbidden flesh. Huh, yeah, so let's just watch some traffic go by. Look at how much traffic is going by. Fountain's a busy street because you can use it um, to avoid sunset when sunset's busy. And uh, beautiful sign, well done. And now I, I zoomed down so I'm not getting any RF interference, but I do know what signals uh, I do know the spectral frequency of packed bass more than I knew before. And uh, so it's good to do, it's good to have this frequency stuff going on. Uh, okay, so this Genie Z-45 slash 521, if you, any of you techies who worked for the church know, I'm sh know the provenance, that is, that is an art term, know the provenance of this lift, if you know this lift is Scientology, please weigh in the comments. I think it is because they have to clean uh, bird shit and other things from their buildings when David Miscavige makes the rare appearance or, you know, when he re-grand opens. I think this has been, Pac Bays has been, has had like 20 grand openings. Every time they run out of grand openings, get real SDR software and a good antenna. Oh, you betcha. The irony is the lift right there doesn't <clears throat> look like it's trying to hide it, but more that the sign is being put up. Silly Scientology. Yes, Daniel. <clears throat> Sally, I think the U.S. Uh, in front of a Pooh Bell <laughs> holds the jammers. Uh, the U-Haul. Yeah, I tend to agree with that, Marissa. They, they definitely have <clears throat> some jamming equipment. They're also intercepting all the, phone, the phones. As I did a thing on my live the other night that they're picking up SIGINTEL from they want to they want to geolo they want to get the phone signature then they can geolocate it using ip in true scientology style the cherry picker will call attention to it more yes a foot bullet totally agree there is a leading line they're in full live demonstration for their latest tech buyer interesting connection yeah how did they block the stingray? It's hysterical as if they have a blue arrow. Don't look here. That's true, because I'm right here. I can see the board beautifully. What an epic fail. Frequency, how iconic, yes. The basement would have a rental company sticker if they lease it. You know, thank you, for Kelly, for that. Um, yeah, it may have been emergency lift, or they may have it on premises, but it's normally stowed. It could be stowed in that yard, and this is the... Uh, horrific former cadet org they have it completely fenced off and uh i guarantee it yeah all right late to the party well better late than never obg foster canoga now behind us no nothing lara fm said she played in that yes a lot of kids did Many, many people played in that horror place, that nightmare horror place. If streamers are clever, they will stream through a VPN. Uh, yes, you can stream through a VPN. However, as I explained, hold on a minute. As I explained, 
if you have the right scanning equipment, they can pick up uh, the emission of your phone and the VPN is secondary. Your phone is still streaming through a VPN, but once they get your phone frequency, they can geolocate you. So I don't even use a VPN because they know who I am, where I live. They've got my phone, but I've got a bunch of phones. I have a whole bunch of phones. Some of them are, uh, you know, uh, so I don't really care. I can use different phones all the time. You should have a lot of phones in my line of work because you never know who's going to call you. Well, well done. And I'm going to go back one more time and let's see what we have. Well, so far it's been a good peaceful visit. We intend to keep it peaceful, peaceful. And I'm going to show you how the blockage works, how the attempted blockage works. We're going to take one more view of that since we're in a live stream. Oh, there's another noisy OSA camera. I can hear it wheeling. You guys are such failures. You and your cameras. <laughs> Nothing says cult like cameras. You know, right now I'm getting... <laughs> yeah, now they'll wear blinders when they leave the building. No kidding. They're going to have to put old-fashioned horse blinders on Sea Org. And uh, so you can't look at the camera. Look down. They have to look at their feet. Look at your feet when you leave the building. You must look at your feet. Hang your head in shame, as if in shame. Oh, we have a broken fixture here. Maintenance, that's a trip hazard. Fallen trip hazard. Uh, remember to Mr. Moxon, that's the fallen trip hazard. Get that light fixed. It's always broke. It was broke the last time I, I've seen it. You need to pick it up on the maintenance. If you guys are so proud of your big blue facility, and it is big, and it is blue, and that's about all I can say. It's a big and blue, ugly asshole building. Ah, oh, the cult building. Look at that. Look at this monstrosity. Look at it. Look at that. I'm sure they're sec checking away busily. Oh, well, we're gonna have to wait to cross. And, uh,. Watch opposing traffic. Okay, well, let's see the opposing traffic. Now, this is a nice view of the local neighborhood. And indict Scientology for trip traps. Yes, that's a trip and fall hazard. How did the aftermath ever get away with putting up that sign on their property? No, the sign is, as we see the sign, the sign is not on Scientology's property. See that extra storage space? It's on that piece of land. So David Miscavige will have to buy extra space storage. And if I were them, I would sell it to him for $100 million. And uh, thank you, kind sir. I would sell them, if I were extra space storage, I'd put the property up for sale for 15 times over market. Like, cause they, you know, Scientology buys property in Clearwater for way over market prices. And I would sell the, sell them that to get the billboard and then David Miscavige could use the extra space storage which he pays a hundred million for to store folders <clears throat> because you know when you have 22 members in Los Angeles that's gonna be two or three bankers boxes of folders so anyway the Scientology rent more cherry pickers that or do they buy the building to get the board the Aftermath Foundation, well done. Yes, it is the Aftermath Foundation at work. And um, I remember when it was Cedars of Lebanon Hospital, never went there, have gotten specialist help at Cedars Sinai, correct. The byproduct of abundance is that needs, the byproduct of abundance that needs storage is the prison of its own need for security, correct. What are you talking about? Looks like a big blue boil on <laughs> humanity, yes. Yes, that's, doctor, I woke up and there was a cult building on my ass. What do I do? Well, we're gonna have to lance the boil using the internet. So big, so blue, so many cameras. Big blue camera land. It's just like Celebrity Center, but bigger, with more cameras and it's uglier. Okay, so now there's the blockage. There's the blockage. 
It only works from certain angles. But look how many drivers are going to come by every day. On Fountain is a busy street, like I said. So many drivers are going to come by every day and see that sign. Because when you go past the cherry picker, you can see the sign. He also said, tick tock, tick tock. Yes, there is no OT9 or OT10 or anything above OT. What else are they lying uh, to you about? Can't even clear... Uh, can't even clear, I'm sorry, can't even clear the blue building. Clearing the earth is impossible. Why blue? Well, the story is, when they bought Cedars, Marty Rathbun was then a new CIRG member, and he was in purchasing. So he bought a really good buy on surplus cheap government paint that was blue. That was just the color it was. So the, the building needed painting. So that was back when they were making all CIRG members uh, list one rock slammers. That's an e-meter term. You get a rock slam on the meter. The needle goes wildly. So they were declaring everyone list one rock slammers, putting them into the RPF, and then making them paint the facility, big blue, and do all the renos, they call it. And so Marty Rathbun, he writes in his book, uh, bought all this cheap government paint, like pennies on the dollar, and they painted it because that was it needed painting, and that was the cheapest paint possible. Because why, God forbid, spend money on people when you know your buildings need work? And um, they painted it, and L. Ron Hubbard was said to have actually liked the blue painting. And it used to be a hideous blue, the original blue paint. And then they, um, they have improved the shade of blue. But look at this over here. Look at that faded blue. From all the sunlight here in SoCal, the blue on this building I forget what it is. Um, so that's why it's blue, because it was the cheapest paint possible at the time. And then the name Big Blue stuck, and L. Ron Hubbard liked the blue. And also, L. Ron Hubbard used to have a fear of rose-scented perfume. He said the Sykes were sending everything with rose-scented perfume. So I guess if Hubbard smelled the paint, there was no rose scent. And you can look that up, too. That's why old-timers like me are so great. We know, like, rose-scented perfume, L. Ron Hubbard. Google that and read the stories and you'll get a chuckle. Oh my God, that's so funny. Um, I'm sorry, let me get a little closer. Got a deal on, <laughs> yeah, no kidding, on John Deere Green. <laughs> Paint it green, yeah, no kidding. Flunk blue. Blue is my favorite color. Going at, 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 at going Claire. Claire Headley on Scientology, glad to hear that. Yeah. So the faded blue, the Aftermath Foundation sign, which if we do the simple expedient of walking across the street, look how many drivers are gonna see this every day, Scientology. And look, even up there by the cross, if I zoomed in, there's a camera on top of their buildings. Cameras, cameras, cameras everywhere and no cash, no customers, no clients. In fact, the cameras in Scientology by actual survey outnumber the number of Scientologists. That's a fact, I bet. There are more there are more cameras in Scientology than there are people. I think it's one of those things like, um, you know, 10 cameras for everyone Scientologists and plenty of sec checks. Okay, uh, Miss B and Seth Doe, let the storage place know that if when Scientology comes to make an offer to definitely make the price 10 times over market value, oh, fuck yes. If I owned extra storage, my price to sell would suddenly go 10 times per the Grant Cardone formula to get uh, to get the billboard. And uh, yeah, it would make it go way up in price. So let's just take a little excursion across the street. And um, beautiful sign. This is such a great moment for the Aftermath Foundation to have their sign planted on pack base where you can see it <laughs> and I haven't seen you know I saw one I think I saw Odo could be wrong but I saw one bicycle security guard so far we've been unmolested during our circumambulation of the complex hey more support I like this look at the power of the internet here I am one guy out on the street with a camera with a cell phone and people are driving by watching. 
that's the power of SPTV. And that's why Monia Leah got her article wrong. There's no defanging of the movement. No defanging. She got that wrong. Is there celebrity? Yes, but that happens on the internet. Are there arguments? Yes, but that's called free speech. The fact that people within the community argue, that's just free speech and disagreement. You know, I'd like to have, you know, nobody likes the arguing, but it goes on, you know, but that's part of free speech. Thank you for posting the link to the Aftermath Foundation on this red letter day. And uh, yeah, the cadet org, let's go walk by the horror of the cadet org before we leave. Let's make sure, okay, here we'll walk by just to get some footage of the old cadet org. There it is. And it, ha it too has cameras like everything else. You can measure sign, um, cameras in parts per million, like 50 cameras for every square foot. Look at that. Camera, 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 camera. It's like that SNL thing, uh, Coke, no Pepsi. Uh, it would be camera, uh, no auditing. So there it is. The old cadet org all boarded up, informing us that security cameras are in use. There is a security camera in use. You could clay demo that. Clay demo security cameras in use, Osa, and see how that works for you. See how that works for you. Do your security cameras in use stop SPs from walking around on SPTV? Answer, no, no. Security cameras do not defeat anything. They just let you feel more paranoid. Every sign, Warning, these signs need to be, the warning is faded out. It's been drenched out by the sun. So uh, yeah, they need to get these dreaded signs. Now, so that's the old cadet or the ugly old brick thing. Look at that chain link fence. You try to go over that, you're gonna get a lot of cuts. And let's go around back here and see what we're looking at. Broken concrete, broken concrete. A metaphor for Scientology. Broken and collapsing concrete. Hey, Dave, your mess is looking like shit. You got billions of dollars and you let it look like this? That's an embarrassment. I mean, that's a cheap fix. That would take what? Even if you had a crew in maybe 1,500 to fix and you have Sea Glaber, I mean, I'm sorry, David Miscavige, that's an embarrassment. And look at that. And look at this little fence post here. They have like a, that's a half ass. That's, that's what we call a redneck repair. Well, we'll just put a block in to hold the pole and dump in some gravel. Look at that. You can, go, you can uh, Google redneck repairs online and see the co comic repairs. That's not how you do it. That looks like crap. I'm sorry. Osa, that's not up to ideal org standards. I would, now I'm thinking less of you. I expected more, not some cinder block, half-ass filled with rocks. Look at this. They sure let this place go to shit. I'm sorry. I just expect more. You see the gleaming ideal orgs. And then when you get into the gritty reality of East Hollywood, you see the pack base has faded paint, old crappy windows, is now overshadowed by a beautifully modern WAG apartment building. The parking enforcement. Oh, no. They don't know where I'm parked, though. <laughs> you don't know where I'm parked. And um, some details must re we have to keep operational security in for the team. And the scanner's logging again. The scanner is logging. Uh, that's a fact, yeah. Hi, Mary Craig Smith. Good to see you. What the fuck owns the lot used for the forklift? No, the, the lot used for the forklift, that's the Scientology facility. They do some printing there. It, are, are you jaywalking, Jeffrey? Not jaywalking, no, no. I deny that. Even though I'm on their cameras, uh, middle finger in their eye. Oh, we don't need to be impolite. They already know that 
they can go fuck themselves. Uh, it's amazing to have the sign of this proximity. Excellent, no kidding. Demonstrating that it is possible to jaywalk. SPTV has more celebrities than the Celebrity Center. Bingo, bingo. I like that. That's like A plus. SPTV has more celebrities than the Celebrity Center. Because as I've been saying, the Celebrity Center has no celebrities. It is a celebrity free zone. You will not, you run no risk of encountering an actual celebrity at the Scientology Celebrity Center unless they bring Ann Archer out uh, from retirement. Yeah, that, as I understand it, uh, Pete, there's uh, a lease has been for a year. That's what I hear. That's what I hear. And uh, there have been more cameras than parishioners. Yes. People can see the sign and it's clear what it says. Yeah, when you drive by it, it's perfect. Drivers can. No, when you drive by it, you can see it. Very effective size visually. Yes. Oh, yeah. The, the early Tori Magoo videos, Dancing in the Moonlight in Boston, one of the first ones. Uh, yeah, look at that. Look at that. Look at that spiky wire. Nothing says welcome to Scientology like, you know, concertina wire and that kind of sharp, jagged wire. And then we go over. Smith. Bicycles may use full lane. Okay, so it's kind of a nice, uh, nice day out here. <clears throat> well done. Wow. It's always a good day for a win against the cult. And the Aftermath Foundation has planted its flag here at Pack Base because as we look right behind us, as we move, and I'll move slowly so that we avoid motion sickness. And there's the big blue, the complex, going between New Hampshire and Catalina. I will remember the sign placement by watching the South Park episode again tonight. Congratulations, Aftermath, well done. The lift is at the perfect height. They're gonna have to tweak it in. It just astonished me. The Jay is walking. The jaywalking is a legal thing. Uh, well, jaywalking, it, it's like a platonic thing. How does jaywalking exist in the mind of God? Or is it just a construct? And uh, people jaywalk all the time. So I guess they're gonna get me on jaywalking. Hmm, wouldn't that be a kick in the pants? So I guess I better cross at the corner. Okay, that's just, uh, it's not a cult. Uh, it's a cult, yeah. <laughs> there you go, and there's their failed man lift. The Genie Model Z4521J. You know, Genie, who builds lifts, they should market it as excellent to block uh, anti-cult signs. Do you own a religious cult? Are you being bothered by a billboard? Then call Genie for your perfect blocking solutions. Genie, that's just an angle as a you know marketing guy. I would do that, you know. Kurt Streets, LA, there are no jaywalking laws in LA. I don't even know if there's laws in LA in general. I guess the only law is if you're Scientology and call LAPD, you get put on top of the list. Respond immediately. Oh my God. And uh, yeah. I can't wait to see what e. Mill, e. Stuart Mills has to say about this where he talks to his marketing professional, Lord, no, it's Lord Wankerton. Lord Wankerton, not Lord Flapperton. That's a different guy, Lord Wankerton. And um, yeah, the only law here is now my camera is going out of focus again. Let's just make sure they're not trying to Okay, yeah, we're getting some uh, EMI electromagnet. Yeah, they're turning it up. Let me check my signal logger, see if the levels are going up. Some electromagnetic interference. Love, uh, yeah, love the mind of God reference. Yes, well, we try to be philosophical and educational. Um, it was a transcendent moment. 
So jaywalking in the mind of God. So I propose we leave the site of this victory and Jeannie, maybe think about marketing to cults, even though it's not a good or effective solution. But, uh, you know, this was an emergency handling. An emergency hat of Lord Flapperton, Lord Flapperton, uh, a colleague of East Stuart Mills along with Lord Wankerton. And uh, again, let's just, uh, we have to go cross and okay well then we're gonna head in uh we're gonna give it one more shot and then end the stream but it's been victorious there's the blocking shot you want to take a screenshot of that blocking shot oh my god cob what we do isn't it legal to jam signals like they are jeff um well that's a good question um that's a question for the fcc i'll look up in the code because i am doing signal frequency mapping and i can have some friends in an agency help me with that because look it's no secret the nsa has already mapped this place they've already used ground mapping radar to get look at the tunnels i mean that's no secret u.s intel satellites have radar ground mapped this place they can see the thermal centers where the computers are i mean that's been known for a long time they just wanted to you know that's what they do. They want to know what's going on with this operation. And uh, wouldn't it be ironic if all the heat signature was not was not from OSA computers, but actually not from Incom, but actually from a secret grow operation? Now, that would be a funny movie that Scientology was actually a front for a growing operation of uh, Mary Jane. <laughs> that could be a really good plot twist for a movie. It's not really about Scientology. We were just concealing our grow operation. Huh. Well, isn't that interesting? Okay. The man lift fails. So yeah, you can see it. <laughs> yeah, Scientology has a secret grow up. Uh, can any messages be uploaded there? Uploaded where? I'm not sure I follow the question. So we're going to... Uh, Head down, we're gonna take a look at some Scientology facilities. Beautifully done, beautifully done. So when I have a clear street I can cross. Okay, now I think I can make my way across here. Let's go across. So we're gonna go back from whence we came and I'm going to discontinue the stream shortly, but I want to give you another shot of the sign before I do. So we're walking northbound on New Hampshire. Uh, 4700 West Block of Fountain. Look at that. Okay, so there's the sign. So even at an oblique angle, the failed man lift tech. Failed man lift tech. There's also no men in the man lift. Uh, there's an old joke. Um, hold on a minute. Why did the, why, here's an old joke. Why did the Asho lion, oh no, here's here, let me rephrase it. Why did the Scientology's man-eating lion die of starvation? Answer is there's no men in Scientology. <laughs> no real men. Just, uh, boy, it's hard to see. I've got the sun in my eyes. Can any message be? I don't know if a message. So there's the sign. Beautifully done. Beautifully done as we swing around and we head back toward. There's more cameras. More cameras. More cameras. And. Another fat boy camera. There's a big white fat boy camera with an LED array. Oh my gosh. And now look at this. Two little cameras. That's the duo. That's the, uh, oh no, those are BT detectors. Body thetan detectors to measure ambient body thetan levels. Because if they get too high, uh, if the ambient body thetan levels get too high here at 
uh, advanced organization Los Angeles, then people can go on to chronic restim and free will through their implants, cash pneumonia and die, etc. Dr. Hubbard warned you, you've been warned. And uh, there's the Wendy's. She wanted to go to Wendy's. Okay, so there you go. There you go. Hope you enjoyed the stream. Please remember to like and subscribe as that helps me personally um, piss off Scientology. Really. It just, the more likes and subscribes, uh, beautiful building. Look at that. Now see that high quality gate? This is the WAG apartment building, the ultra modern non-Scientology building. The concrete is clean. The painting is good. Now, David Miscavige, you got that shit facility, that shit facility that needs concrete work, broken stone, faded paint. I'm walking along a brand new ultra modern gleaming non-Scientology owned condo here in East Hollywood. And you guys, you guys, there's some old houses that are slated to be torn down for more condos. Some of these old places, those are boarded up. Maybe uh, that's where David Miscavige hides out. Maybe those are ultra modern inside. Oh, they have the concertina wire. And uh, they're gonna build, they're just, uh, all around town, new uh, condos are going up, Hollywood Prez. And there's an apartment building burned. You can see the fire that's slated for destruction for more condos. So clearly around Scientology, Big Blue, its future will be condos. Cause that's a much more useful purpose than a block full of land for a few aging cultists, a handful of aging cultists. I say, maybe the city will take it by eminent domain. Wouldn't that be deluxe? Again, the billboard down there. So uh, let me check some comments before I go. Where do we send complaints to them for blocking the billboard? I don't know if you can, you know, I'm not a lawyer. We'd have to get, uh, there's visual obstruction. So the billboard company could, uh, not, I would defer to uh, a real lawyer like Zach Morgan. There's visual obstruction, it's done deliberately. I don't know the law on visual obstruction, deliberate visual instruction, but um, I'm, I think there's a case, but again, I'm not a lawyer, so I can't comment on it being a lawyer. I'm just a gumshoe, a gumshoe, a PI. The reason PIs are called gumshoes was in the old days when all the shoes uh, uh, we wore were hard leather soles. This was before the age of the sneaker or the athletic shoe. Uh, PIs would have gum, actual a substance called gum, and they would have that put on the soles of their shoes so that they could skulk around the inside of dwellings, like apartment buildings. They could skulk around without being heard because they were walking on gum soles. And hence, that's why PIs were called gum shoes. They were skulking around quietly inside the wooden floor of the apartment building you lived in Hollywood, seeing if you were engaged in any questionable liaisons. Perhaps you were hooking up with Madame Helena Blavatsky and you were a secret occultist. Hmm, maybe you were doing, doing a deal with Reefer. Huh, maybe you were meeting your mistress named Lou because you were a cult leader named David Miscavige. And so some gumshoe would have to creep around. David Miscavige and Lou, what are you guys doing today? Did you talk about the Scientology billboard? Oh, look at this. Progress. Now that's an elevator to infinity. That actually goes somewhere, unlike Scientology. It goes all the way to the top. Wow, there's actual real tech. The elevator to infinity. And it's opening to unload building supplies on yet another condo building, which will overshadow Big Blue. Well done. Well, it's been quite an adventure. Glad to have you here with me. And uh, it's always good to have a, you know what's great? It's great to be on SPTV live streaming and have a community with you behind. I know that I got, community has my back. I got your back, you got mine. It's great to have, I'm so glad you had my back because if anything went wrong, you guys could dial 911. Claire Headley on Scientology, you should set up a webcam somewhere. Yes, 
yeah, Claire, I'll give you a call. And um, so uh, I have to go off the feed now. I may jump back on depending on the time and jump by Scientology Media Productions. And uh, we'll see if we can make that happen. So glad you joined me so I can get all the comments. So for Scientology Money Project on YouTube, Jeffrey Augustine out here on the main streets of East Hollywood. Thank you so much for joining with me and I will see you next time. Now, <laughs> it's assuming I can get my camera to work. Okay, I'll see you next time from East Hollywood and the sign on big, uh, the aftermath sign on packed base. Well done.